The Civic Type R is the fastest road car Honda currently makes. Well, it is anyway, until the new NSX arrives. And the Fireblade SP is the fastest road bike the firm currently makes. So we've brought the two together for an Auto Express track battle. Thanks to a two litre turbocharged engine with 306 horsepower, the Civic Type R is the most powerful front wheel drive hot hatch currently on sale. And tipping the scales at 1,382 kilograms, it has a power to weight ratio of 221 horsepower per ton. Meanwhile, the Farblade's naturally aspirated 1,000cc engine may be down on power with 178 horsepower, but its 210 kilogram curb weight means a far superior power to weight ratio of 848 horsepower per ton. This does reduce slightly when you add the rider, which in this case is Honda's British Superbikes racer, Dan Linfoot. He'll be using all his skills to push the Fireblade to its limit. Driving the Type R, meanwhile, will be Matt Neal from the Honda UASA British Touring Car Championships team. So not only is this going to be a battle of car versus bike, but it's also a competition between their respective race series, the BSB and the BTCC. But as with all two wheels versus four races, the weather can have a massive impact on the outcome. It's not raining today, so the bike must have an advantage over you. Well, the Type R is now officially the fastest super hatch in the world today but um, yeah it, it has got a weight to power to weight advantage over us I mean look at him he looks like he needs a good meal never mind anything else but um, and you're well fed today <laughs> so I am going to need a wee bit of a head start they sent the older driver the Honda BTC team did so um, yeah I think we'll we do need a bit of a head start will 10 seconds do it 10 seconds I'm going to own him you reckon Okay, so Dad, that's, that's fine talk there. Do you reckon you can have him in 10 seconds head start? Do you reckon you can beat him around our circuit? You know, 10 seconds is going to seem a long time when I've watched him go and I'm sat there waiting for 10 seconds, but I'll make a deal like that and let's see who can come out on top. Well, looks like it's game on then. Game on. Right, for the honour of the four-wheel community, Type R is going to win this one. Three, two, one, go! Oh, it's a good start. Don't get too cocky, Matt. The bike's coming now. This one's a bit, gets a bit lively through here. As Matt exits turn two, the bike is in the first turn. Oh, just look at it shift. Gonna make Dan work for this one. Yeah, and it looks like he's up for it too. Dan's just gone through turn two as the car enters turn three. Whew, man right on the limit there as he heads towards turn four and up the hill. Maximum commitment there too from Dan as he passes through turn three. What just happened there? That would have cost Matt time and allowed the bike to close the gap. Just look at the concentration. Dan leaning the fire blade over hard. The car should be in his sight after this corner. Now the race is definitely on as they head towards the final head. Here he comes. Matt takes the corner wide, leaving the door open. <laughs> and that's got to be it. Well then, Matt, despite the 10 second head start, you still lost, what happened? Well, the power to weight ratio on our, uh, on our Type R isn't quite what Dan's got there, and I'm not just on about me. The car itself, how does it compare to your race car out on the track? 
You know something, this, is, this Type R is the first car which has been designed by engineers, not salesmen. So it's the closest ever. We're now a two litre turbo unit, exactly the same. You know, it, it handles the same. It's got a lot more electronic gizmos, get out of jail free cards, I like to call them, which will, uh, when you're pushing it to the limit, they will just keep you in check and, uh, and save you when you, they need to. Well, I saw you actually push it to the limit. You must have had them off because you came a little bit sideways. Did that lose you a bit of time? Well, you've got to have a bit of fun as well as having a race along the way, haven't you? So um, he drove well. He did some uh, pretty crazy wheelies coming past, which I was, uh, I think I lost the time because I was applauding them as he was coming past oh, me. Oh, yeah, yeah, typical, typical. So congratulations, you won. So that's 1-0 to BSB and two wheels over four. So how did it go out there? Yeah, it went quite well, thank you. It's, uh, it was good. good to have a close race today. We really noticed you kind of catching him on the straights and coming out of the corners because of your better power to weight ratio. Yeah, exactly that. And, and I could see following Matt when, uh, during that period that he was very much in control of the car in the middle of the corner and the, the, the grip that the car offered enabled him to go through the corner very fast, but where the bike could gain some momentum back was exiting the corner. So how does this bike, this road bike, compare to your racing bike? Actually very well. It's uh, The CBR 1000 chassis is actually very similar to the, the Fireblade which I race, although the, the engine is a little bit softer and smoother and more easy to use on the road. Um, so actually it's, it's very close. It's a fantastic bike to ride around the track and thoroughly enjoyable today. Okay, I think it's a single seater, so you can't give me a lift home, can you? So I'm going to have to go with Matt. No, that's right. If you're, if you're going down the, down the supermarket, you'd, you'd just be one person on the bike, but obviously you can fit your family of four in the Civic Type R. However, today, around the track, two wheels were better than four, but it doesn't really matter if you're a Honda fan because your team still won. Click on the video windows to see what happened when we met Asimo the robot and to see what other machines Honda makes. Click on the play icon for our latest video and on our logo to subscribe.